trying to get every what are you in the games for and i you know it's to get everyone experience and you know you uh, if you look at plus minus you know barry dean cartier you know those those guys were all plus 20 something you know the other guys it was what well, we had a you know a negative we had a couple plus two you know stuff like that so you know but they need that experience if i don't give them experience now i'd rather have them learn from this situation than than wait later on and then maybe it learning costs us a game so you know i i hope we can you know take another step uh they get a little better you know we talked about not putting too many uh new guys in at one time uh, but at the same time I, you know I I want those guys to play and I want them to get minutes so um, but it, you know it's it's I think it's a good thing then how we responded you know we came out second half and those, I thought that first eight minutes was really good by that you know those the older guys and they moved the ball they shot the ball with confidence we shot from three well we shot from two well you know, if we turn them over, um, turnovers obviously is something. Both games, free throw shooting, you know. But again, you you you, uh, it's it's a great chance to learn. That's what these are. I always say dress rehearsals. They're dress rehearsals for the real thing. How would you? Uh, I know it's only two exhibition games, but Cardia he's been the leading mm-hmm. scorer in both of them. How mm-hmm. would you assess how he's played so far? Well, well, to me, I love that he's done it efficiently. It's not like he took. 20 shots to get 12 points and be the leader. You know, he, you know, great numbers. Uh, you know, the other six assists, no turnovers. Uh, it's pretty good for a guy that hasn't really played basketball, never played in this kind of environment, you know, in a big arena like this. And, and you know, to uh, come off, you know, eight, nine months with no basketball. So he's been very positive, uh, you know, but obviously we still want more. And, and, you know, I think he can give us more. And now you get Cam back, you know, those guys got to learn to play with each other and, and how to, you know, read each other, help each other, create shots. Guys, you know, not only for themselves, but also Brian Patrick, you know, he can shoot that ball. Now how are we going to get him shots? And, you know, and that's, that's what they all got to, I think, buy into. Dean's performance is obviously something that I'm sure you were, you were pleased with. Yeah. Uh, again, an exhibition. So, so what what do you take away from it? Obviously, he played well, but it, does it have a little bit well, over it given that it's an exhibition? You know, he's done that. I think the thing uh, we had some calls and stuff after people watched, and you know, just his confidence level. You, I just think if you've watched him, and you know, you he just he's different in practice. Now he did it in a in a game. Um, you know, and and. You know, so he, I, I, he's a different person, but he's going to have to continue to do it consistently. And um, he's a very, very good player. He's playing with a lot more confidence. He, you know, the somebody had a Gretzky uh, quote the other day, and I made sure he he saw it or heard it, was that you you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. And, you know, if you miss one, so what? Now, you know, he's a great passer. He does a lot of things for us. But, you know, if he's open, that's that's oh, there's no more open than open. So shoot the basketball. But I, I like what he's where he is. He's better physically, strength, conditioning, defense, um, a lot of good things right now. And, you know, now can he do it consistent? Who's impressed you with the five spot so far? I think it's every other – It's each day is a different guy. And, um, you know, I think Miles had some good moments. Mac has. Um, you know, Nigel actually rebounds and blocks shots. He just – it's – the game's going so fast. We He doesn't always know what's going on. And then Levi, if he can keep up – if we could play half court, Levi would be really good. But, right, you know, you got to run up and down, and then he's got to keep up with the game. So each one is as their, you know, positives. We just, you know, I, I just talk to them right now about what can you help the team with? What do you do to help the team with? You want minutes? Go do those things. And and that's kind of, I think that will be a big key. What have you thought of those true freshmen? I mean, obviously, they haven't exactly had huge games uh, right now. But what have you seen out of two games and kind of what are you looking in this third and final well, you know, just get – we just have talked about getting better. That's that's the most important thing. But, I, you know, um, Nigel, again, you know, he goes in and blocks shots, rebounds, you know, those – he's good at that. Now can he, 
he he has to learn and figure things out. Levi knows what's going on, but now he has to deal with the physicality. Um, so each one, and they just got to keep getting better. We've as a staff, we talk, we just got to get a, a little bit out of them all, and hope that as we get December into January, that they've made improvement and they've continued to develop. And then we, you know, we have more confidence. They have more confidence. We have more confidence in them. I think Mike McGurl is. Uh, you know, it, it, it had a great summer, and then you know, just kind of boogered up, and the ankles uh, have really slowed him up. He missed basically the whole fall, and he's just kind of getting back, and he just a little bit, uh, you know, just trying to catch up, you know, with that. But, you know, I, I think I know he's going to be a good player. He's done he's done it against not only our guys, but in the summer against the older guys, and you know, I think as I said before, he was the biggest surprise of the summer. Cam's expected to play? Yeah, Cam will play. He practiced today. He, you know, you don't play basketball for five, six days. Don't do anything for five, six days. It's He was he was huffing and puffing. So, <laughs> But that, you know, we need, you know, we got to get him now mixed in and they got to play together and rotate those guys. Um, they got to use each other. I think that's the nice thing about Cartier. For Cam, you know, Cam can run and shoot. He can spot up and shoot now. You know, you got, you know, he gets with Cartier. He's got a, he can get off the ball and, you know, hopefully Cartier can find him for open shots and he can shoot a better percentage. Um, you know, and that will just, you know, that will come with some time. No, he's not a starter, but Mason, will he be able to go? I don't think so. He really had a bad sprain. Um, we were worried doing it. I mean, that thing, you could just, you know, you see things and, we were worried that it was, you know, worse than it was, and it ended up just being a bad sprain. But he's back running a little bit, and uh, you know, which uh, it, he's such a good, great leader. He's great for practice. He, I mean, he competes every day. Like, like you know, he knows what's going on. Like he's a regular player. So we, you know, we definitely need him back. How do these early practices compare to the ones that you're gonna see in a couple of weeks? Do you try to keep up the intensity to? maintain some continuity or is it kind of tough with these kind of feeling their team out? well I think you you know we had 30 days of practice and that's including you know three of them are exhibitions and then we did a, a scrimmage that before you know that day at a TCU game um, so you know obviously the beginning they're fired up you know they're excited then you hit a little bit of low but that's why that Missouri State thing I think it you know it helped catch their attention you know, now now you got two other exhibitions, and I, I think a big thing when you ask about this next one, you know, it's really hard to play the second exhibition mentally, you know, because they just worried about next week and real games, and I, that's the challenge. You know, that having that mental toughness to come and play and do things right and play at a high level, uh, can you know, for an extended amount of time. So I think that's that's what we're really looking for. But um, I've told them though, like tomorrow would be a prep day. We're practicing. It's, you know, we'll prep, but, you know, we got to use every day. We're down to whatever, five days of practice in that exhibition game before you play American. And then once, you know, I've said it, once you get to American, it's what's Friday, Tuesday. Uh, I don't even know what after that. Friday, Monday, Thursday, Friday. So it's a lot of games in a really quick stretch. Can you describe the five that you like on the floor the most right now at this point this well, is small ball, small ball it would play. be small ball yeah. but uh, you know I'm hoping that we can have a mixture we can play with big guys we can play small different games every, every game's different a big stat though will be rebounding you know that if we're going to play small that's fine but we got to rebound and uh, you know that, that they got to have a nose for the ball and it was one of the biggest pluses in the Fort Hayes if you looked at it Barry was the leading rebounder, Xavier, Cartier. So, and we've really emphasized guards coming back and rebounding. I still want Dean to get eight or ten, but uh, it was good to see those guys rebound. Um, you know, I think that's more of a, I'm like consistently playing. Um, now is a, more of that performance. Um, kind of in the second half, I kind of uh, disappeared a little bit, and I'm trying to stop because um, I did a lot of that. I do really good at the beginning, and I just kind of disappear as the game went on. Wouldn't do much, and so I'm trying to get consistent through um, always making plays and doing something to help my teammates or something. So 
Um, I think it's more of a sign of consistency for me the rest of the season. Is it tough to get excited for the entire 40 minutes to play exhibition games when you know that in the end they don't go on your overall record? Um, I mean, I'm just excited to go out there and play somebody that's not my teammates, really. I mean, practicing against these guys since the spring. And, um, I mean, it's just nice to get out there and play some people um, that you haven't played before, um, I knew, even though I know most of the Hayes guys. So um, played with or against most of them. So anyways, but uh, uh, it's nice not to play somebody that you don't play every day. So. What, what's the key to you to, to keep coming out with that confidence? I mean, obviously you can tell yourself time in and time out to bring it, but is it something mental or is it just kind of not even thinking about it? Uh, you know, I'm trying to make it a thing where it's, it's just a mindset like that I'm in during games. Um, Last year I had to kind of had to tell myself let's go and stuff, but this year I'm kind of working on that just being like the the norm, and um, you know I think it's due to a lot from my from my teammates, um, just give me the ball in good places, and um, I'm a I'm a great passer out of there, so I like I like to pass the open guy, and that they, and it's a in and out game, and it's just easy shots when it goes from uh, the pain out, so they try to get everyone involved. How would you assess how the front courts played in these first couple exhibitions? Um, you know, I think we played pretty solid. Um, we're still trying to find a groove of their new guys, and, um, you know, they're going to find their role here and find um, their little niche in the offense and stuff. I mean, they're going to do fine, but, I mean, they, they came out and surprised me, so. Who you enjoyed playing with the most at the five spot? I know you obviously you got your four main starters, but who's, who's impressed you the most, I guess, in practice and in, in these two exhibition games so far? Um, you know, Max done some really good things. Um, he, he's athletic. He can run. Um, he hasn't showed his athleticism yet, but when you see it, it's gonna, it's gonna. You guys are jaws are gonna drop. Um, Mao's a great defender. Um, he's played college basketball before. He's, he's a, uh, he's a great defender and just, real big energy guy. And um, I don't really know if I've ever seen a freshman come in and have like the touch that Levi has. Levi has the greatest left hand I've ever seen. Um, he might not be the most athletic, but if he gets it within ten feet, it's a bucket. So, um, and Nigel is. Great rebounder, great, great rebounder, shot blocker. So, I mean, they all bring their own things um, into the game. And, you know, whatever coach thinks is the best fit, we're going to go with. But, you know, for me, I just I enjoy playing with all of them. I don't really have a favorite. So, so you had a nice pass to Mac uh, in the 4 ace game. But uh, I'm assuming we'll see a lot of that because you'll draw so much attention, you'll find the only guy. Yeah, yeah. He should have dunked it. <laughs> he told me after he caught it, he's like, dang, I should have dunked that one. I said, yeah. Because when you see him jump, it's – yeah. It's crazy. This man can get up, up fast. And um, but yeah, no, you're gonna see. They're gonna if they double me. Um, I'm tall enough, or I know where people are gonna be. My teammates, especially like Cam, Barry, X, Brian. I know where all those guys are gonna be. Played with them for a couple years now. So um, it's like not even. It's not even like I have to see them or know where they're at. I just kind of, you know, if if I see everyone else is guarded and, and I think Brian's in the corner, it's going to the corner. So you know, Brian lives in the corner. He's a knockdown right there. So. So you had uh, seven rebounds versus Missouri State, a bigger team, and then three mm -hmm. against Fort Hayes. What is that? Um, I think we had to do a lot of boxing out and stuff, but uh, um, Coach kind of challenged uh, the guards to get rebounds, and they were very, very aggressive on the re on the boards um, against Hayes, and I think that, that helped us a lot get out and transition to run more. But, um, you know, them rebounding is great for us bigs because – you know, it just lets us get out faster. We ain't got to chase them all down and stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's big for us. And uh, um, I know it doesn't look like a, a very good rebounding night, but I think I got all the rebounds uh, I could have, except for maybe a few. Um, but, you know, Barry, X, and those guys were everywhere on the boards that night. I mean, they didn't, they just, they were flying around, getting them all. It was, it was exciting. So. Is there something that Xavier can bring to this team that maybe you want to do couldn't last season just based on his abilities? I mean, um, X and uh, Wes, pretty much the same player, honestly. Um, Wes was athletic, got in transition. He can't stop him in transition. X is the same way. Um, I think X jump shot has come is way, way before Wes's jump shot. Uh, Wes didn't develop a jump shot until about like midway through his junior year. And so X has had this jump shot the whole time. So, I mean, I think that's something um, if he can get going again, which he showed he already has. Um, he's gonna it'll be great for us. So, what's something that you want to see improved over these final couple games? Um, honestly, I think our conditioning. Um, 
we died a little bit there here and there and they kind of went on a couple runs and you know our second team died a little bit and they came kind of came on runs against Hayes um that and uh you know just aggressiveness for the new guys the new guys aren't really playing with the aggression um on defense that we wanted to see and I think I think here in a couple this next game they're gonna they'll come out and show um how we're gonna play the whole year so I guess I forgot to ask Coach about this. Uh, what are your thoughts on Amad Wainwright so far? Oh, he's a, I've never, he's such a good defender. I mean, he's long arms, um, really, really strong. He's athletic. Um, if he gets his hand on the ball, I mean, it's it's his pretty much like right from the go. Uh, I've never seen somebody's timing so good on after like missed shots and stuff. His putbacks are crazy. Um, we saw one against Hayes, but there's been some crazy ones in practice. I wish that I'm I'm hoping he can kind of show a few of those here in a couple games and uh because it his timing's crazy on those and you know he's just so strong and big you wouldn't expect it but he gets off the ground fast fast yeah. so Notice that. He's, yeah. got a, he's got a bird to him oh yeah for sure no for sure it's in his hands and i mean he got the longest wingspan ever i mean he's just all around like a freak athlete so